Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with our topic test automation obstacles, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called again and again and again, right? Now, why is this? So in this particular obstacle, we need to complete uh, the obstacle where we need to click uh, the following button, which is called click me. And what will happen is after a few clicks, the button will change its name to enough, okay? And once this is done, then uh, you should click that button finally to finish this particular obstacle. So let's try it out here. So I click here one, twice, thrice, four times. And after that, it is enough, right? Now you don't know how many times you need to click uh, in order for this to be uh, appearing, right? So it's it's nothing fixed. It is more dynamic. So you have to put some logic through which uh, you can find out what's the name of the button and when you should stop clicking and uh, when you should finally click so that you can complete this particular obstacle, right? So uh, let's see how we can uh, complete this particular obstacle uh, in Tosca. So coming back to our Tosca workspace, as usual, uh, we are going to scan this particular module. So let's go to our obstacles folder here, go to scan application. And then um, going to the scan window, uh, the scanning is pretty simple. Uh, we just need to uh, select this particular button, right? And then um, I'm going to rename the module and put the name here and save it and close this. Okay, um, now let's go back to our test cases. Uh, we'll be creating a new obstacle here. Uh, a new test case with that particular obstacle, okay? And then uh, we are going to add the module back here. So let's try to search our module. Here is the module, okay? So the logic which we need to implement here is we need to uh, use a looping object, right? Now, which loop you want to use uh, completely depends on the scenario. But here, uh, it would be most appropriate to use the while loop, okay? Because uh, we have got a condition here, right? So we are waiting for the name of the button to change from something to something else, right? So we have to loop uh, until that change happens, and then we should stop, okay? So this is an ideal case for a while loop. So let's go ahead and implement that. So when I right click and I can say uh, create while statement. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to drag this uh, here because we want to do this. Okay, here we need to put or check the condition. Um, and then here I'm going to change this to click button because that's what we are going to do finally once we check the name has changed to enough. Okay, so this is the final step but uh, we also need to put this under the condition, okay? And what condition uh, we will do here, let me change the name here first. So we'll say check button, okay? And here, instead of the click operation, uh, we are going to do a verification. And uh, here inside this, we are going to check for the inner text and whether the inner text is equals equals click me, okay? So this is basically the initial uh, state of the button, right? So uh, when I refresh this page, you will see the initial name of the button is click me, okay? So I'm checking here uh, whether this particular button name is click me, and if it is, then I want to perform a loop where I'll be clicking on this button continuously until the name is not equal to click me, okay? So uh, what it will do, it will, in this condition, it will check whether the button name is this. If it is yes, then it will go into the loop and it will click on that. Now this will continue to happen until this inner text uh, changes to something else. And then uh, this uh, condition will become false. So it will come out of the while loop, okay? 
and when it comes out of the while loop uh, at that point of time will make our final click okay uh, which will basically complete the obstacle right so it's a pretty simple logic uh, which you need to implement uh, and this is one way of doing it there are many other ways of doing this right so let's change the work state to complete it and now we are going to run this okay so let's see if it works so as you can see now it has started uh, clicking the button multiple times and it will stop until uh, it looks for the inner text which is uh, changes to enough and once it does then it will do the final click and after that the automation obstacle will be completed so this is where you can sometimes use the loop function uh, which is available in Tosca, either the do loop or the while loop. You can also use the if else statements. Although these are not recommended ways of um, doing automation within Tosca because it's not a programming language, uh, it's an automation tool. But sometimes uh, if the situation guarantees that you have to uh, put some looping logic, then uh, you can very well use uh, the looping objects which are available in Tosca. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.